Good morning. I just woke up. Just, just, just woke up. Let's get ready. I just washed my face. I'm gonna do some makeup. I definitely need to film a TikTok today. I've been not filming or posting many TikToks this week because um, I've been very, very busy with school. But I am, yeah, definitely needing to post TikTok today. Starting my skin prep, I just washed my face. Starting my skin prep with the Glow Recipe Waterman Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. They're almost out, actually. I have to like bang the bottle against my palm to get some more. But I do really like these as makeup prep. But yeah, I've been really busy with school. It's a bigger workload than, than um, last semester. And I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be kind of the same. So I had my routine um, last semester really down. And then yeah, this has just been a big adjustment already. Much more technical this semester. And I have a practicum, which is also more work. So no big deal. I just have to like find my footing again. Then for my moisturizer, I'm using the La Roche-Posay Hydrophase. It looks like this. Uh, La Roche-Posay is such a great brand. I started using their Tellurian Double Cleanse, like their face cleanser, and it has quickly turned into one of my favorite cleansers of all time. I'm actually almost out of it. So when I was looking for a new daytime, like under makeup moisturizer, I thought I would give La Roche-Posay another try. And I like it. I feel like it smells not medicinal in like a bad sense, but yeah, I feel like this cream kind of smells like a doctor's office, but very subtly, but I don't hate it. It's not enough to bother me. It's just definitely there. I am so groggy, you guys. I have been really struggling to fully wake up in the morning, and I think it's because of this new anti-anxiety medication that I'm on, and the medication is like very effective as an anti-anxiety medication, but ever since I started taking it, I'll go to bed. I, guys, I'm literally like in bed falling asleep by 8 30 and then i can barely get out of bed the next morning at um okay for sunscreen i'm doing the tinted elta md uv daily broad spectrum spf 40. elta md is such a good like drugstore sunscreen brand matt matthew okay that was matt and he brought me okay i can't tell what this is some kind of tea um i need to hurry because so when we moved into this building, we got this like, like this move in discount deal on a cleaning service. And so we decided to book it just for fun. I've never like ever used a cleaning service before. And they're coming today. They said they were coming between nine and one. And I guess in my head, I thought I had a little bit more time, um, but they're actually coming really soon. And I just want to tidy before they get here. I don't know if like you're supposed to clean before a cleaning service comes, but I feel like I need to because I'm like, even though I know that they're here to clean, I don't want them to see my mess, so I need to hurry. Okay, that was my SPF. And then I always wash my hands afterwards because it is like tinted. Let's do a little makeup. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, and this is the shade Fair Medium. And I've seen a lot of people dogging on this contour wand recently. I think it, it does what it needs to do. I just think you can't use a sponge on it. Like I see people criticize it because a sponge soaks up all the extra product, which it does. This is what it looks like, by the way. Yeah, it's, your sponge is not the right tool to use at this thing, but I feel like if you use a brush, it's fine. The stress of like knowing that people are gonna be over soon woke me right up. I was kind of enjoying our little chill chat that we were having. Okay, so I just kind of buffed my contour in and I know it looks really messy. That's because we haven't done anything else yet. For blush, I'm gonna do the Makeup by Mario blush stick, whoops, front end, in pale petal in the winter time i try to use a lot of cream products because my skin is quite dry and then in the summertime i tend to use more powders just because where i live the humidity is pretty high this is the blush color it's very pretty and what i'm doing is i'm taking the cream contour and cream blush before i do concealer i'm sure you guys if you're on tiktok i'm sure you've seen like that mary phillips makeup method that's going viral which is just like you do your cream contour and blush first and then you kind of buff foundation on top kind of similar but i'm not gonna blush foundation buff foundation on top i'm just gonna um do my blush and contour and then put concealer where i need it and then i've i've been doing that this week and i really like the results and of course i always do my forehead which some people swear by and some people hate because they're like it makes you look sunburned i'm like that is kind of the point like i feel like a little blush on the forehead lends itself to a little sun-kissed glow more so than piling on bronzer does but again makeup is very subjective everyone should just 
do what they want. And I says, I think this is just an herbal tea, but I really can't tell what it is. It's good though. Now I'm gonna do concealer. I have been using brushes only lately, I don't know why. And if I'm not using a sponge whatsoever, just using a brush, I like the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. A little goes an extremely long way with this product. This is shade um, sepia. And that kind of goes for all Hourglass products. They are very pigmented and very blendable. So I just kind of go around the corners of my mouth and nose, and then I use it to kind of carve under that cheekbone. Put a little extra under my eyes because the dark circles are circling. Matt and I had such a fun night last night. We had a little chill night in with our conversation card games. Um, we used the hookah card game, which was really, really nice. And then we did the We're Not Really Strangers game, but I don't have the couples edition, just the regular. So I felt like those questions were geared more towards people who don't know each other super well. And then we also did the Drunken Love X-rated edition. And that was really fun too. So usually after I do my concealer like this, I then feel like I have carved out my cheek makeup a little bit too much, so then I go back in with the same brush that I used for contour and for blush, and I don't put anything extra on it, I just kind of like blend out the edges. So I don't like to make this line here too sharp because then I feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. I learned this trick online is if you spray your setting spray onto your cream base before you powder and then you let the setting spray dry down and then you powder your makeup lasts so much longer i've been doing this religiously lately it makes my mac my, it, it makes my makeup literally last like twice as long and you really go in as well like drench your face what kind of tea is this what kind of tea is this Oh, peach. The setting spray is dried down pretty much and I'm going in with the e.l.f. HD powder. This is a really nice powder and I'm taking a Amazon powder puff, one of these little triangle powder puffs, and I'm just gonna set under my eyes and kind of like very lightly set over my whole face. I dab the extra powder off on the back of my hand. I don't want actually like any buildup. I'm not actually baking. I like using a powder puff. It makes me feel like a woman in a 1940s movie. You never realize how many steps your makeup routine is until you're like doing it uh, for someone. A little hourglass ambient lighting bronzer just to make sure we didn't lose any of that color. And then a very small amount of ambient lighting sublime blush. Blush, again, just to like barely go over. It does end up being less powder on my face than if I were just to use like powder products from the get-go. I know it looks like I've done a lot, but we're working in very thin layers. My eyebrow routine, you guys are probably absolutely sick of seeing, so I'm gonna breeze through it. NYX Brow Glue, you know the drill. This is a very thick, very sticky brow glue. So while that's drying down, I curl my eyelashes and apply lash primer. This is the L'Oreal primer. L'Oreal makes incredible lash products. They're lash paradise. Primer and Mascara Duo are, I would say, my absolute holy grails. This is not that. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base Primer. It's still very good. I just couldn't find the Lash Paradise Primer at the drugstore that day. I'm a really big believer in drugstore lash products. Even the lash serum I'm using right now is e.l.f. and it's actually really good. While my primer dries, I do my eyebrows. I lightly fill them in with the Anastasia Brow Duo in granite and I use the lighter side. So I use this lighter side here and I fill in my eyebrows. And I don't really try to make this perfect because I'm gonna go in with a brow pen, which is like the really important part. I would say the NYX brow glue and the brow pen are both the really key elements. And of course the fact that I shave my eyebrows. So then I take the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in black. If you've been here for a minute, you have heard me talk about this probably a thousand times. And I just do little hair like strokes and this darkens my brow and makes it look a lot more defined. I love a good brow pen. It's honestly, I would prefer to use a brow pen over any other type of product, like powder, pencil, anything. Okay, we're almost done. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. If I was going somewhere, I would do like my lips. I love the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Mood Liner and the Rare Beauty, uh, what is it? I think it's in Humble, their lip liner, and then just like a simple gloss. Um, but I'm staying home, so there's really no need. The lashes are lashing. I usually do this at night, but I forgot. While that's soaking, this is the Way North Bondi perfume. I'm almost done with it. don't have a lot left. This is such a good everyday perfume. It doesn't even really smell like perfume. It, it honestly kind of just smells like you just stepped out of a very luxurious shower. This is as good as it's gonna get today. Do you wanna see something funny? You guys were just sitting on my desk riser. That was my filming setup. Anyway, let's conquer the day.